What's an automaker to do when customers abandon their mid-size sedans in hot pursuit of crossovers and pickups? The smart ones respond with irresistible crossovers and pickup trucks. The brilliant ones do the same without turning a cold shoulder to products they've nurtured for decades. Case in point, Nissan's new Maxima. With a nameplate that dates back to 1981 and 2.9 million US sales thus far, the 8th generation Maxima is a sports sedan with rousing performance, inner design, and an interior capable of curing the most festering crossover urge. While other makers dump V6S to add a hybrid powertrain or an all-wheel drive option in their family sedans, Nissan is sticking to its Maxima guns with what it once again is touting as the Ford or sports car. That's a stretch given the CVT living between the 300 horsepower 3.5 litre V6 and the front wheels, but after a day's drive near Nissan's Nashville headquarters, we came away impressed by the effort bestowed upon the brand's flagship. In spite of the gearless transmission, there's plenty of fun and Ford or utility available here for between $30,000 and $40,000. The details, the basic package is a touch longer by 2.2 inches and lower by 1.3 but no wider. The 109.3 inch wheelbase and most of the unibody inevitably will be shared with the new Altima do soon. Thanks to more aluminium and high strength steel, Curb weight is acclaimed 82 pounds leaner and torsional rigidity is 25% greater. Nissan builds the Maxima in Smyrna, Tennessee, in what it says is the highest volume plant in North America. Some 650,000 Altimas, Maximas, Pathfinders, Leafs, Rogues, and Infinita QX60S are scheduled for this year, plus lithium-ion batteries for the Leaf. Most of the parts comprising Nissan's venerable VQ35 3.5 litre V6 are new, upping power a touch to 300 horsepower at 6,400 revolutions per minute, a 10 horsepower gain, without changing the torque peak of 261 lbft at 4,400 revolutions per minute. Revisions include sodium filled exhaust valves, reshaped intake valves, a more efficient intake manifold and a stiffer oil pan. One notable omission is a move to direct fuel injection, Nissan is saving that worthwhile technology for its presumably more needy turbocharged engines. Engineers hope TPA highway mileage would climb by 4 miles per gallon to the enviable 30 miles per gallon level, and the EPA has indeed certified the maxima for 22 miles per gallon city and 30 highway. Thankfully, there has also been a full frontal attack to reduce the negative characteristics of the Maxima's Xtronix CVT automatics applied by JATCO. Originally Japanese automatic transmission company, it is three quarters owned by Nissan, with Mitsubishi and Suzuki each having minor stakes. A 17% increase in the spread between the lowest and highest ratios is the main driver underlying the gain in highway fuel mileage. In addition, the CVT's lubricating fluid is a thinner viscosity, there's a smaller hydraulic pump, and the drive belt is a new higher efficiency design. The driving, engineers also sweated bullets over the Xtronix software. Six variables, accelerate or pedal position, road grade, acceleration in the cornering G's, road speed, and braking G's, determine how this CVT behaves. Add to that normal and sport modes selectable by the driver and what Nissan calls step programming. With the throttle held at the low openings typical of ordinary drivers, there's an initial surge of RPM followed by a gradual increase of road speed at a fairly constant engine RPM. But above a 3 eighths throttle opening, artificial ratio changes closely mimic the action of a conventional planetary or dual clutch automatic minus the jolts and jerks. The engine utters a lively growl thanks in part to active sound enhancement stereo system augmentations, the tack needle waves just like a conventional sports sedans, and the driver never really knows this powertrain activity is computer contrived. During test drives, we concluded that this arrangement will serve all but the hardest core skeptic without prompting complaint. The beauty of all CVTs is virtually no driveline commotion during a pour down shifts which aren't shifts at all, but driver ratio changes. 
The beast is the rubber band effect wherein the engine revs far in advance, out of sync with the car's climb up the velocity ladder. In the Maxima, that evil beast is securely caged. The best dynamic trait is a firm ride. Just enough road texture comes through to tell you this is not a Buick. Body motions never get out of step with an aggressive driver's control inputs. In other words, the Maxima condones a heavy foot on the throttle and confident hands at the wheel. Minitube ZF Saks rear dampers, new this year, do an excellent job of providing consistent control on entertaining back roads. The brake pedal is properly calibrated to deliver stopping power directly proportional to the pressure applied without that vague mushy feeling found in too many cars. One interesting trick is a dab of automatically applied rear braking when the car crests a major heave in the road to help provide a nicely settled landing. What the exterior lacks in classic beauty it makes up in bold splashes of bright work and flamboyant creases. The themes dominate the face, the roof floats on blackhead out pillars, and brightly illuminated boomerangs mark the front and rear corners. One thing is certain, the Maxima will never be confused with a Toyota Avalon or a Buick Lacrosse. The design, the surprise bonus is an interior that's beautifully detailed, lavishly finished and sensibly configured. Instead of options, there's a staircase of five different trim levels. Heated leather seats are standard in the SV, the first step up from the base S model. The next level of SL version adds a two-panel panoramic roof and a Bose sound system equipped with noise cancellation technology. The sporty SI has column-mounted paddle shifters and 19-inch wheels and tires all seasons are standard, summers are available. The Maxima Platinum, which starts at $40,685, is distinguished with quilted leather seat stitching and a power-adjustable steering wheel. You get steel-look metal trim with the first three levels, what Nissan calls liquid chrome in the S, R, and mahogany accents in the Platinum Edition. Inspired by jet fighters, Nissan interior designers canted the 8.0-inch center touchscreen 7 degrees toward the driver. The center storage bin's lid is high and softly finished to serve as a convenient elbow rest. Beautifully stitched seams, a flat bottom steering wheel, remote starting, navigation, and split folding rear seat backs are all standard, even at the bottom of the pecking order. The number of switches needed to operate the navigation system has been cut from 25 to 10, and swipe, pinch, and slide touch responses have been added. Driving directions, for example, can be slid from the center display to the 7.0-inch screen centered in front of the driver between the analog tack and speedometer. The redundant console command knob has a nicely knurled grip surface. In spite of the high-style exterior and sloping roof line, rear seat entry is reasonably good. Two can sit back there in comfort. Any full-size adult assigned to the center rear position will surely gripe about the lack of headroom. That said, the accommodation would be even worse if Nissan returned the Maxima to its original rear drive configuration or added optional AWD to draw more northern climb buyers. Advanced safety technologies help this Nissan gain momentum over carryover competitors. The top three trim levels pack intelligent cruise control, blind spot warning, rear cross traffic alert, forward collision warning, and automatic emergency braking when a crash is imminent. An array of cameras and sonar detectors gives the Maxima Platinum 360 degree exterior monitoring with moving object detection. If a platinum driver appears to be neglecting steering responsibilities due to drowsiness, a dash alert lights up that includes a take a break. Query. Boxed in between the quite capable Altima mainstream sedan and Infinitize Q40 Q50 sports sedans, the Maxima has a clearly defined role, wave the Nissan flag vigorously to prove that there's a lot more to life than a Toyota.